Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new around here. My name is Eliza and thank you so much for joining me today for this video because in today's video we're going to be talking about my new Lady Dior bag and I'm super very excited to share all the teeny tiny details with you but before we get started make sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already and without further ado let's get into the video. This is the bag we're going to be talking in this video and this is is the Lady Dior Around the World Stella bag and it's such a stunner guys. First of all it comes in this beautiful creamy white sort of color with gold embroidery on top and it has a champagne gold um, hardware. Actually it's so subtle that you can believe that it's a silver hardware which is not. It's like a very subtle champagne gold hardware and believe me guys I must say this is definitely a must have for this summer. It's such a classic, such an elegant bag that will work with every single outfit in your wardrobe because first of all it's like a combination of white and gold you can't ask for more but before we just praise this bag and say this is the masterpiece i would like to go through every single detail of this bag show you the interior of the bag talk to you about the pros and cons of this bag but yes this is the bag we're going to be talking about today <laughs> Now if we take a closer look, as I said, it has the most darling champagne gold hardware as you can see here and the embroidery is just so stunning. If we we'll look around, every single stitch, I mean look at that. As you can see the handles are very sturdy and very beautiful. All the logos, if you look closer, are on its place and Look at the embroidery, it's just so darling. Now the main difference between the classic Lady Dior and the embroidered one, that it has the embroidered interior as well. As you can see, it has the side, zip side pocket here, it's quite roomy. And it also has a little side compartment and the one very spacious um, main compartment. I do believe if you want to protect these embroidered beautiful white interior you definitely need to use some kind of pouch or insert because look at this interior it's an absolute masterpiece as you can see here is the logo and the zip pocket as you can see. Now as you can imagine because it's like almost a white bag all the fingerprints all the dirt will be collected all over the place so when you go out for dinner or just around the town you need to be very careful with this bag first of all it's almost a canvas exterior so it means it can get dirty very very quickly and you really need to baby this bag as for the handles i do believe this will be the main concern because like Especially in the summer when it's too hot, your um, hands are sweaty and you will be grabbing it constantly. Maybe we should consider, I don't know, wearing a nice pair of white gloves or something like this because otherwise I foresee the handles uh, will be the main concern for this bag. So it's definitely not a pro, rather a con for this bag. So make sure you have clean hands, but I don't believe that um, clean hands will help anyway because like again it's very hot in summer your hands might be sweating and you will be grabbing it anyway and all the sweat will just absorb in the handles so you can either wear a twilly here or some kind of a handle protection or a pair of gloves as I mentioned before now next corner of this bag well I actually can't see any because this bag is made so perfectly but before we proceed I just wanted to make sure to show you all the angles of this bag, all the stitching here, all the side stitching, all the top stitching because first of all really need to take a moment to appreciate all the teeny tiny details of this bag because this is so gorgeous. Because it's a classic Lady Dior bag it comes with a strap for your convenience so you can wear it as a tool handle bag or as a cross body bag but this is the strap it comes in with uh, that says Christian Dior Paris and I really like the 
um, embroidery here. Actually, if you really like this strap, you can wear it with different bags. If you have a classic uh, white lady duo bag, this will do the trick because the uh, strap itself is absolutely darling. It's amazing. As you can see, everything on its place. It looks absolutely lovely and no flaws at all that I've noticed. Now, as you can see, I just attached my strap and if you want to wear it like a cross body bag, here you have it, but I still believe it's a little bit bulkier, but I do believe it if you wear it as a top handle bag, it looks much nicer. So let's give it some respect because it's Lady D all bag, right? Now we talked about the cons of the bag, but what are the pros? Now, first of all, it's a very elegant and darling Lady D all bag, right? Second of all, when it comes to embroidered lady deals, I treat them as a treasure, as a collectible item for sure, because in 10, 20 years, it still be there. It's such a masterpiece. Do let me know in the comment section down below how many lady deal bags do you own? I own like two embroidered bags and I do believe these are masterpieces on their own and I treat them accordingly. When it comes to the boring part, the measure this bag is definitely a winner because it's so lightweight compared to the Lady Dior leather bags. It's very lightweight, it's very roomy, it will fit a lot of stuff, even the water bottle. It has the most darling hardware that has a nice heaviness to it. And overall, it's a, such a good bag, like such a good everyday bag, although I wouldn't wear it every day. I would treasure it as a special occasion bag, but definitely if you invite it to some kind of party or you're going out for dinner, it will fit a lot of stuff, believe me, but make sure to use inserts here. But yeah, overall, it's a beautiful, darling, and very, very elegant bag. And I would advise to have it in your wardrobe for sure because like it's a very subtle embroidery it's not into your face compared to the other lady deal bags but everyone has a different taste for sure i think this one is very classic very beautiful now that was pretty much it for today's video if you liked it don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and do let me know in the comment section down below how many lady deal bags do you own and if you're aware of any handbag cleaning services please share this information with the community and for those of you looking for some inexpensive alternatives to luxury bags you will find all the information in the description box down below thanks again for watching and i will see you on my next one bye